What is going on everyone? This is Dylan from We The Coasters and we are here at Universal Orlando Resort. Feels so good to be back here. First time this year. And it's been a while since we last went to Universal. I want to say it was back in the end of November, beginning of December. Somewhere around that time frame was the last time we were here. But again, feels great to be back here. A little bit colder when near since the last time we were here. But again, feels great to be back. Anyways. Let's get on down to why we're here. Actually, no, my mistake. I was here back in uh, super early January. Now I just realized. So let's just get on with the flow and uh, let's show you what's going on today here at Universal Orlando Resort. So by the time you're watching this video, Epic Universe dropped. So you may have seen that by now. I know we're late to the party. We haven't been to Universal since the announcement dropped, but it came out and let me just say, wow, that is unbelievable. Now there is a separate review about Epic Universe as of making of this video. And you can see that um, once after it gets uploaded. So by the time the video gets uploaded on that end, I'll put a link to that so that way you guys checked it out. What uh, me and Lynn have our thoughts about it because you know we go in full detail and we give a full explanation about everything and anything there is to do with Epic Universe. Which, speaking of which, there is a rumor about that whole Epic Universe uh, previous center could be going on by at CityWalk, and we'll show you about that right now. And there it is, the former home of the Universal Legacy Store. And this is where it's rumored that the preview center for Epic Universe will be right over here. So we'll see if that is the case, but I did see that the doors are open for the main doors in the inside, but yeah, a lot of construction regardless, though. So I don't want to peek the camera over the wall today, but still, that's a shame, though. Miss this store, and uh, I'm curious to see what the preview center is going to look like uh, when this opens up. Because it is a very big building, but who knows what they'll do, though. And just want to show real quick, as the Super Bowl is coming up, as of making of this video, it is coming up this Sunday. So, I'm pretty sure this video will be uploaded by the time before the big game shows up, but if you were here on Sunday, February 11th, they have a special scene of the NBC Sports Grill and Brew. That $5.30, $100 minimum food and beverage spend per seat. And more information, talk to the host stand. They'll tell you everything about it. NBC Grill and Brew, by the way, is this building down here past the Universal Studios store and Voodoo Donuts. It's that big building right over there. Before we walk into the parks, I do want to show you that City Walk because Mardi Gras is going on by. Saturday, February 10th from 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. Free admission, free feature food and drink offerings, DJ, live entertainment over at Bob Marley, a tribute to freedom, which is town that way over here. You can see where all the Mardi Gras stuff is. You basically go this direction over here where Antonitos is, or you go up the stairs over here, you turn left, and then it's right down there, and it'll be on your right-hand side. Or if you're up on the escalators that way, you just take your right, it'll be on the left. But yeah, now I got that out of the way, I'm not sure what we're going to choose first. Do we do studios first or islands first? Uh, I'd say let's go islands. We'll go there first. So here we are at the entrance of Islands of Adventure. And before we walk in, this is a big oh no today. And for how long this will be, I'm not too certain. But Velocicoaster is not operating today. Apologize for the inconvenience. They had unexpected maintenance and it is we down for some time. As far as how long, I'm not too certain. But hope it's not too long because man, that sucks though. That's a big headliner for Islands of Adventure. So it's like pre-2021 days again. Man, that sucks. But still though, Crowds are still going into the park, which is good to see, but man, that is something you just do not want to see overall whenever you're walking Universal, so that is a big blow today, but we're still going to have some fun, and we're still have some happy it's a long way, so let's walk inside. All right, now that we're in, Express, by the way, $175 per person today, so we're expecting a little bit of an uptick on the crowds, but uh, we'll see how it is. I did see that Hulk, by the way, was at a 75-minute uh, wait on a Tuesday, which that's crazy though. We're in February. How is that even possible? 
And today's park hours are nine to six. Here's some of the wait times here. Hagrid's at 100 minutes. Forbidden Journey 55, Hippogriff 75 minutes. Which, wow, you can tell even for Tuesday, that's pretty insane there. So just real quick before I show you more of the times. Enhancements going on over here where one of the express huts are. That's why there's an express hut over at the beginning of the entrance now. It's interesting. The EPA from uh, now to the 14th is only at Islands and Volcano Bay. Here's the hours. Studio is open from 9 to 7. Very unusual hours there. Surprised they're closing that early for a year round park. Look at that. 9 to 7 for Islands in the upcoming hours. Next three days. Wow, that's insane. But yeah, they're doing some enhancements over here. Actually, that's a, that's a lemonade stand, actually, I believe. Not the express. No, lemonade's over here. That's right. So that would be the express area there. I don't know if they're changing the whole hut or something. Or if it's in the paint. I'm not entirely too certain, though. But they're doing that, though, to say the least. And of course, they have QR codes to download the Universal app. It is a very good app, might I say. So now here it is here, updated. So we mentioned about those. The train from Hogwarts Hogsmeade to uh, Diagon Alley is 10 minutes. And the next show for Frogwater, 1230. And Triwizard Spirit Rally is at noon. And you can see again, 9 to 6. So definitely a very short day to say the least. But, well, get what you can. Well, there also has been kind of cold. So with the wind going in effect, Rip Ride Rock is also closed because of that. So that sucks to say the least. Excuse me, I'm a little bit slip there. Trying to wait for this thing to update, but Hulk apparently is at a 120 minute wait right now, which that is a huge yikes to say the least. And you know, while we walk to Marvel, Dr. Doom's at a 35 minute wait, Hagrid's at 100, like I mentioned. Uh, let me see here. Hulk is at a 120 minute wait, Skull Island's at a 45, Spider Man's at a 50. Water rides right now, River Ventures at a 10, Popeye's post for refurb, and Deli Do is at a five minute wait. Speaking of the Hulk, there she goes. Two hours though on a Tuesday. My goodness. That's not good at all. The Amazing Adventures of Spider Man. So the main entrance is closed, but they point to where the temporary entrance is, which they now have signs for over here, which. When we last went, they didn't have any, which was kind of weird. So you have to go all the way down here in Marvel. You have to go right before Toon Lagoon enters from this area here in order to get to Spider-Man. And this is where it is, right over here. Dr. Doom's fearful. Oh my god, Spider-Man literally just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Spider-Man literally just scared the bejesus out of me. Oh my god. Literally, I'm just walking to Doom. He just ran by. <laughs> That's hilarious. So we're gonna sing a ride for Doctor Doom. Alrighty, so we checked into the Pass Holder Lounge, which, by the way, opened up not too long ago. But um, let's get through a couple of stories. First off, Lynn's back. Hello, great to be back. So, great to be back. so Lynn, what happened when we walked in there, other than getting our magnet for the pass holders? Um, we had an opportunity to pick these up. I have never seen these before, yeah, but new. they were on like a mega discount. Basically, the manager was tired of seeing it, so they sold it for what, like $13.99? $12.99. $12.99, upper yeah. the price, gave it a discount, which I have the 15% because of my premium pass. So, unlimited refills all day today. Yes. Yeah. we're just gonna do And these were the last two, which I got the other one in my left hand. That's there, so as of right now, so if you're trying to get the holiday one, well, we took the last two, so congratulations. We helped we'll these guys out. we getting it for $50 on eBay. Yeah, right? I like the sound of that. But no, we got the last two, and we uh, get to use it for today, so that is gonna be a blessing. But um, we also got our magnet, which uh, we'll show in just a second. But um, yeah, it was great. We got these cups in handy, too. And here is our Universal Orlando annual pass holder magnets. They're actually a little different. It's rather uh, circular this year rather than like the squares over there, but still looks really good. This is Mardi Gras theme, as you can tell with the A of the Universal Orlando annual pass holder. And really cool what they have to the design there. Which, speaking of Mardi Gras, it is going on from now till April. So check it out when you do. Head over to the Universal Orlando. Universal Studios is where you gotta go to check out all of Mardi Gras. Popeye and Bluto currently closed for the annual maintenance that's going on by. So with Popeye and Bluto closed, that means Jurassic Park River Adventure has opened up. So we'll show you that in just a minute. 
The wait time for Skull Island Reign of Kong, 50 minutes. That tells you how the park is right now. Just a wee bit packed. And you can see the work walls around Jurassic Park River Adventure. They are gone. The ride is open and you can ride it right now. Currently showing for the wait time. It says it's a five minute wait, but it just actually broke down. So never mind on that. Not hearing that coaster go right now. Definitely is very depressing to say the least. Would love to have done Jurassic Park Velasco today, but unfortunately not the case. Hopefully they'll get it reopened soon. So some work walls are over in the area where Cat and Hat is, just outside the entrance. Probably some groundwork though, as you can see where it's at. Nothing new to sign though, because the sign is in operation like you can see, so please see this. All right, so we just got off Cat and Hat because we're just here to kill some time and all that. So uh, I just want to say on my behalf, as a person who's been seeing this ride for over 20 years and then just hasn't done it in like, I'm gonna go on a limb and say probably eight months, maybe nine months. I think probably the last time I did it was with Lynn. Um, that ride needs a lot of love. Holy cow, that is. This whole place does it's, a lot of love. It's oh, just, I know, it's an eyesore. It's outdated. It and is. It, it some love. Oh man, like I'm just gonna say this. So the main first cat and a half animatronic, like the main cat himself, he was already in B mode, but he was still kind of waving, and then like everything else was just all like, ooh, oh my god. So. If I were Universal and Epic opens up and you take care of studios, the first thing they need to do with Islands Adventure, it's very simple. That ride either needs some love or has got to close down entirely. Because, man. No, don't close it down entirely. I'd say you still keep it up, but it needs to. Well, I mean, at least in some form. At least in some form, try to like fix the ride. Cause, like, like while, like, while the guests are over at Epic Universe having fun, of course, these parts are probably going to be dead. Or I hope. Then. I can just take that time to refurbish. Yeah, that, that ride needs TLC bad, real bad. So that's just honest opinion though. I, one of those two really would have to happen though. Even though I would hate for number two to happen because it's been a part of my childhood, but still, yeah, it's bad. Anyways, we're gonna head over to Lost Continent and then walk our way over to Harry Potter because uh, we'll eventually uh, make our way over to Hagrid's. So we just got off of Hagrid's with Chum. Oh, it was 65 at the train. Yeah, we were going to do train, but it says 65 minute wait for Hogsmeade to uh, London's King Cross. So first off, Lynn, what do you think of the ride? Um, It's always good. It never fails to amuse me. We had, what, row six? So yep. row that was six. It was good. Everything was working good. No problems. Except for like a, one like stop because of ADA. But... Or like a slowdown a little bit to yeah. help with the wheelchair. But that that's nothing. No, it, it ran really good for the, so probably like, wait, what, like 40 minutes maybe at the most. So Roughly, yeah. That wasn't bad at all. But yeah, like it was a hundred minutes today, which that's still rather unusually not normal, but that's good though. Cause you know, you're used to seeing two hours, three hours, four hours. Oh my God, get me out of there. So hopefully the keyword, hopefully the next time that we do another family attraction, it could be the new one at SeaWorld, maybe the one at Busch Gardens and all I that. I mean, not you because they yeah, I've done high them all. limits. I've no, done, I've I mean, done them all. Uh, the new ones. Oh yeah, yeah. well that's true. So, I still want to cry about that. Anyways, um, we've done everything we did about Island's Adventure, so now um, let's head over to Studios. So before we walk into Universal Studios, the globe's actually spinning, so um, that's good. I guess that corporate decision probably just went out the door. Nice. All right, we have made it inside Universal Studios, which really wasn't much of a way, it was just kind of a few people. But as you can see, Mardi Gras is going on now till April 7th. And as you can see right over here, they have some of the characters from the Mardi Gras Parade that are actually meeting the greetings of people. It's, speaking of which, the parade will be later on tonight, but I don't think we'll be here for the parade, you know, today and all that. But still, good to see that they're actually all out here getting some photos and whatnot, which is really cool. And these are actually some new outfits I'm seeing from some of them here. Which they actually look really, really good, I want to say. Hi! Happy Mardi Gras! Happy Mardi Gras! Wait, wait, wait. Studio Snacks has some Mardi Gras decor as well. And it looks like, uh, oh yeah, they actually got some new stuff over here. Let's take a look here. Looks like they have sweet and savory Gouda and onion waffle and a cookie butter liege waffle. Wow. And everything else is all about the same there, but looking at the two waffles they have here, so they have warm crystallized waffle, smoked Gouda, beer brace, onions, and black horse ham for the 
uh, sweet and savory gouda and onion waffle, and then the cookie butter liege waffle. It's a warm crystallized waffle topped with cookie butter, whipped topping, and Bis Biscoff cookies. Wow, that's, the second one actually sounds really good there. Holy cow. I don't really care for Biscoff that much, but no. still. Uh, respectively, $8.99 and $7.99, but if you pair with a Delirium Red for the onion waffle, it's $21.99, so that's interesting, really. This is new, so I, I like what they're doing here. I, yeah, I wonder if this is for all the um, the ones similar like this, like the one in New York and everything, so we'll take a look as we go on through there. And to answer that question, yes, they did change the food around here. So this is all from Mardi Gras, as you can see. So over here, they have Brazilian fare, so they have the hot fare and the beverages. So for the hot beer, they have shrimp mo mojilla, which is shrimp and coconut cream stew, micro cilantro with white rice, and then pau de cuillo, which is Brazilian cheese bread. $6.99. And then they have these over here. These are $6.49. It's basically a sweet treat, nothing too fancy. And then for the beverages, they have mango, uh, which uh, they have a whole bunch of alcohols in it, a whole bunch of stuff around here. 17 bucks though, wow. That is insane. We have some public domain playing in yeah. the background. Just some Louis Armstrong, you know? Absolutely. Still, though. But yeah, Good they answered the question, at least for the, the, they have added food over and all around the food booths, all around the area from uh, Illumination Avenue to New York. So that's neat to see there. All right. First ride that we're doing here at Studios, we have to do the GOAT. You already know what we're doing here. Fast and Fury Supercharged. You know me by now. I have to do it. There's a reason I have to wear this shirt. It is just that dang good. Let's hop off. All right, you can tell it's kind of a little wet on the lenses, so let's just do this properly. All right, much better. Now, we just did Supercharged not long ago, which um, not much of a wait, but we still got on very well. We got row two, which, uh, you know, it was all right. We did one good, but um, everything for the most part, Ryan was working pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, Everybody has a little bit of low energy, including yeah. the actors, just a little bit. Oh my god. Maybe it's just an off day event. Who knows? You know, it's cold, nobody yeah, likes Yeah, like the energy in there, no one cared. It was just kind of like, we're here, okay, I guess. And then, yeah. unfortunately, yours truly there had to bring in the energy like crazy, so. Thanks, he everyone. I paid for this because he's bringing in energy for the crowd. Yeah. Like, like it was just dead, yeah. and then he pipes up. Like, here, here's an idea, Universal. I know you guys are watching this. I know you are. So here, I got a, I got a proposition for you. Have me be a part of your attraction just for like one day, and do the shift of Pat and Jamie, or, or even either or either one. It wouldn't matter, and I would not be upset. I'd be perfectly fine with that. So that's something to say, at least. So we're actually in a new place here that is to eat. Actually, new for me, but this place has really existed for a while. It's called the San Francisco Pastry Company, and. They have some interesting foods out here. A lot of like healthier options and like different types of eatery that's here. Similar to the uh, Today Cafe. That's yeah, up in a way. Front. So what do we have but, here? But no wait, turn around. Go up. Oh yeah. Uh, so this. Right over to your right is actually a Coca-Cola freestyle station. Yeah. Right outside of the end. You kind of see little lady is right over here by the sign. And it's like what's funny is that we always go here for a refill on our yeah. drinks, but we never noticed this. Place. No. And anyway. I want to say this, I've been coming here for 20 years, I've never noticed this place. Even with the doors opening, I would have never known. So we have one of our two foods that's here. This is a apple pop tart. I think this is our apple strudel pop tart, I believe it was. I, I believe that's what it was here, but um, this is literally like a pop tart that is made in the theme parks, but like Universal's own twist of it. Actually, I'm going to see real quick what it was here, because I did notice it earlier. And yeah, it's an apple pie pop tart is what this is. So you can see with the filling on the top that's there and a lot of the inside filling were there as well. So we're gonna have that. And then the other thing is being made right now, it's the grilled cheese and tomato soup. And you'll be seeing that right now. So in the mixture of jazz music by Louis Armstrong and Turn Down for What over by uh, the exit for Fast and Furious Supercharge, <laughs> we got our food. Yeah. And here's some grilled cheese here. So this was how much? I think it was like 14 or 15 bucks, give or take. 15 after my discount, I yeah. think. Which isn't bad. But is like, it was twenty dollars before the discount with that uh pop tart. Um, pop tart. But just this alone was like fourteen or fifteen, so not bad to say at least. So this is grilled cheese with tomato soup, and we actually spilled a little bit of tomato soup on there, but not we, you. <laughs> oh, yeah, me. But by the right way, yeah, we are at the exit to Supercharge, which is funny. We're gonna take a bite. So 
So you tried just the grilled cheese part, right? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Now she's gonna do a little bit with the tomato soup. A little overpriced, but still good, nonetheless. But it's good though, that's all that counts. Yeah. All right, here, we'll, we'll uh, stop recording and then um, once it takes another bite, we'll give you my reaction. All right, now time for Dylan. Doesn't include anything that is not picky eater approved. No, it's really good. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Overpriced, good. Mm -hmm. I think there's some uh, roasted tomatoes in there as well. I like tasting tomato. That's very good. That's definitely, um, yeah, it is a little bit of the overpriced, but you know what? If you want to try it once for the heck of it, it is very good. Now, I did want to give a big shout out to the person that told me about this place, which uh, is Beauty, Studi Beauty Studios uh, Productions, I think it was, or uh, someone that was close about their uh, Universal Studios Today, I think it was called. But she mentioned about this place, so I just want to showcase real quick. This is over right next to the Lombard's uh, Seafood Grill, which Lombard is your left of her right seafood with the blue top. And to the left of that is San Francisco Pastry Company. It's that little building that's there right next to where the drinks are. It is so hidden. Not many people know about this place. And you can find food like this. Even the cashier really didn't know. No, she Until didn't. after, sorry, until after she put on, like, put in an application, which same for me for the company that I work for, to be honest. <laughs> if you know, you know. But on that, it's still really good. I do recommend checking it out, but it's so hidden. Not many people know about it. It's absolutely fun. Which, for reference, uh, shows uh, Alcatraz is right there, and then there's the pastry company. Mine's going over us, but yeah, there we are. All right, as we're walking through Harry Potter, I did forget to mention about the pop tart we also had. So, what'd you think about that? Uh, it was pretty good. It wasn't like apple pie feeling. That was just kind of through, uh, thrown together. It was kind of like this mixture with uh, cream cheese. So it's kind of like a cheese danish, but at the same time it wasn't. I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, it but did kind of feel like that. Most videos that teach you like how to make your own pop tart, they use like puff pastry and then jam. But it's, yeah. It's not good. I can at least see it's on my end. So I've done the pop arts over at Hollywood Studios and then now here at Universal Studios Florida. I'm gonna be honest, I think the one Universal is just a little bit better. Just a little bit. I think mainly within like the breading alone is better. But like within like all the, the inside and stuff, I think Disney does better. It's kind of weird how that works out. But I don't know, it was good though. Uh, the price for that was good, but uh, the grilled cheese and tomato soup, I want to say, not good. That was pretty bad. It's kind of steep. But anyways, um, as we're walking through studios, um, let's head over to the Mardi Gras Tribute Store, which um, opened up not too long ago as the making of this video. Actually, my mistake, before we go into the Tribute Store, and this dummy almost <laughs> fussing his butt out there, which is funny, but uh, let's talk about the Simpsons here. So... Oh boy, if you remember the last time we were here at Universal Orlando, I randomly roamed around the park, did the vlog and everything, and as I had left the park, finished up the recording and all that, there was a rumor that popped up that The Simpsons could be closing. Yes, yeah, hard enough to believe The Simpsons could actually close. Now, why is this important? So The Simpsons lease is up in 2028, which means Universal could renew it. However, there are two problems that goes around. Number one, 20th Century Fox is owned by Walt Disney World. So technically, in the degree, Disney could operate The Simpsons into their parks. And another thing, too, is this ride system has definitely been shown the age. Recently, not a lot of newer employees have been going around this area for training, and they have been cutting a lot of people's uh, staff time during over here. So there hasn't been anything else that I have heard about within the attraction. But we'll keep you updated if anything else pops up. But right now, it is rumored this attraction could close at some point in time. Probably within the next year or two. And what could take over its place? Well, that's for another video. But oh boy, a lot of question marks if The Simpsons does indeed close down. So a couple of things to show over here. Over by the Animal Actors location area, this is where they do a check-in for the float parade that's over here. They have the people who reserve for the pass holders, and of course there is a virtual line for standby because all the floats for the 
uh, reservations have filled up so you can join the standby but you're not guaranteed to get in so if I were you people if you want to go be a part of the parade get here early because it really does come in handy I mean both of us have technically done it separately but separately before we even met yeah you gotta you gotta join early if not then you're like saying doc <laughs> yeah I mean you can see where they're kind of at right over here so I mean it's just crazy enough now over here at DreamWorks a lot of work is done as you can see over in the uh, Shrek Swamp area here as you can see so they got a lot of scaffolding that's uh, over here and the troller coaster they have actually installed some new stuff on the outside so I'm pretty sure that's going to be some lighting effect of some sort where the white is here so I'm going to put my drink down there and explain it so you kind of see there's these little white areas that are all around here pointed around in these spots and that is going to be a new effect that's there and I actually can see uh, like a spider like that's uh, up on the top somewhere over there within the troller coaster and there's a walkway for Shrek Swamp that's over there. I don't know if that's going to be for um, a thing we're able to walk on. I doubt it, but man, they're really building along this area. Holy cow. So, All right, guys, here comes an aerial view. Here we go. What if somebody just snatches it? The Mardi Gras Tribute Store. Let's walk on in. This, like I said, just opened pretty recently. Let's see what we got here. So instead of going where the old Pasadena Lounge is, we're doing the opposite direction. Wow. $29. The hot sauce is 16 bucks. The tumblers for 29. Mardi Gras 2024 shirt over here. This is $33. We have a hoodie over here. Look at the hats. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Love the decor out here. It's really cool. We got Mardi Gras beads, three for 15 bucks. Universal Orlando beads or bus, cat ears for 12. Dylan, Whoa. going to the floor. Oh, that's cool. It's like uh, the Howling Hornets one. I know, but it's like a board. No, it's broken like board block. Okay, I thought you could do It's not that smart. <laughs> I thought it was Matt Long with that. Got flannels over here. Gator. Oh, there's a gator. I just seen that. Nice eye. You gotta go to the other side. No. Love the look how it is so far over here. I'll tell you, each of these tributes is. Oh, geez, a show scene here. So I guess there's a show scene up on the top, but. It's interesting. I'm gonna look down real quick at the camera. 
more Bourbon Street stuff over here, voodoo dolls, voodoo keychains, I should say. Got another Mardi Gras shirt over here, looks really cool. It's a gator playing a banjo over here with beads there. And another version of it right over here. This here says it is $35. So $35 of these. And the main event. Gator plushies. Yep, gator plushies. Let's see what we got for desserts over here, what we're seeing here. A lot of king cakes over here, gator cookies, skeleton cookies. Frosted brownie, sun and moon mini cakes, earth mini cake, mini fire earth mini cake. cake. The mini earth cake was yeah. really good. Chocolate dip bacon, that thing was really good. Glad they're bringing that back. Four has only one right now though. Cake pops. Some s'mores at the bottom. Even better. <laughs> Let's see how much our gator friend is over here. It says 25. Oh, 25. That's bad. These are small ones too, which uh, I want to say they're about, I don't know. It's not very soft. Course, I, I mean, he is a plushie. Yeah. Oh, yo, look at this. Oh, this is neat. Look at all the voodoo skeletons that are over here. Oh, look at the skeleton up there. The skeleton actually moved. I don't know if you caught it on the camera, but I can see he moved his head a little bit. Oh, there he is. Oh, that is neat. I like it a lot. What's that? 25, and this one comes with a crown. Oh, nice. Got more shirts over here. Here's the UAP pass holder shirt over here. Very nice design. Look at this design here. This is $37. Skull paint over here. Oh wow, look at all the skeletons like really right above this one. Very cool. Mardi Gras hoodie over here. Got a cannon over here. And a really cool thing at the end over here. Oh, Skelton's eyes move. Look at his eyes, they move. So, oh, it does? I ran the prop. <laughs> this is really neat. All right, you've seen what we showed you throughout the tribute store. Here's our thoughts of it. I'll start off on mine. So, I can tell you for a fact that this this year's uh, tribute store for Mardi Gras was easily better than last year's. Hands down, no question, no doubt about it. It was amazing. I mean, it looked I fantastic. I have to say the same thing, but I'm a little biased because I kind of like the whole pirate stuff. Yeah, the skeletons. the skeletons were awesome. Those, usually with those themes, as well as like the uh, icy themes instead of desert, yeah. usually I, I prefer those things. Like with levels and games and whatnot. I'll say it before and I'll say it again. I don't know how these guys do these tribute stores, but my goodness, the amount of work that they put into these things are just absolutely amazing. And I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a first time visitor or a very oh, well-rounded like visitor. Yeah, 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 right? It is unbelievable what they're able to do. And the, the creativity for these stores are just amazing. So like, if you're like brand new to Universal and you never think like, oh, a trivia store, it just kind of sounds uh, weird and corny there. I'm telling you, go to it. It is absolutely amazing what they can show you inside these stores. Like, the, their creativity is just unmatched. It is unbelievable. So, like I said, overall, this tribute store for Mardi Gras this year, fantastic. 
way better than last year. And um, I cannot wait for the, the next summer one. Definitely. Yeah. I'm so. more excited for Halloween Horror Nights myself. Oh, you know, same. Halloween Horror Nights, they go all out for that one. So that's our thoughts of uh, the tribute store for Mardi Gras. So before we leave Universal Land, I do want to showcase because it is NBC Universal from July 26th to August 11th. They are showcasing the NBC Paris Olympics. So of course, advertising for it is shown out here. So I just want to showcase that in case if uh, anyone's going to be aware that they are going to be advertising the heck out of that at Universal Orlando Resort. So be aware of that. And of course, over at NBC Sports Grill and Brew, they will have a viewing area for the Olympics once it comes out. So keep an eye on that when you're out here. So I did want to mention that as we are heading out of the park. Also, it looks like there is a private event going on because I'm seeing a lot of badges and uh, I'm not sure what the occasion is though. Something's up. Definitely a private event for sure though. Well, that'll do it here at this Universal Orlando Resort. What a good uh, quick trip this was. I mean, we got a lot done. There's we seen what we did. Oh, there is a Pikachu, that's right. Yeah. But yeah, so it was great overall. We had a really good time, both of us. And um, yeah, it was it was good. I would say the only thing I was surprised about was that um, uh, Velocicoaster not opening. That really definitely hurt because um, I would have loved to have done that today. But unfortunately, you can't have nice things. But yeah, it'd be like that, I guess. But overall, then you had a good time? Yeah, it was a good work visit. That's good. Time to go back to work. Same day. Yeah, right. So... Thank you guys for watching. If you liked, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Hit the bell in case you have any future uploads. Follow us on all of our socials, our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, threads. Until then, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys until the next video. I am out. Peace.